good. How are you? I'm doing good. So listen, I want to apologize for my mistake with that time. But either way it go, we on track now. Right. We made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to do was tell you thank you so much for mm-hmm. taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down and talk to us and answer the fans' questions. We really appreciate it. No, I will thank you. start off. I will start off with one of my questions and then I'll get right into the fans' questions. Cool? That sounds good. Yeah. All right. So tell us how you got involved with cars and being in the car culture and stuff like that. Um, well, let me say this. It's business first for me. So being that first, I'm a businesswoman. Being that I'm connected with someone who loves, eats, breathes, sleeps cars, I don't care if he flipped pizza. I'm going to see how we can capitalize off of it. So he was that person that spent over $100,000 just to be the neighborhood car show king. That wasn't mm-hmm. enough for me. Right. People need to see. People need to see this. People should know you beyond... Here, you know, we're in Louisiana. We're not Florida. We're not in a big city. We're Louisiana. I wanted people to see we do some of the same stuff right here in this little country state. That's what I wanted to offer people to see that we customize cars, some that may even look a little better than the big city cars, you know, but I just wanted to showcase our talent to everybody. We were going from city to city, state to state ourselves, you know, but we weren't taking cars. We were kind of taking the back seat, you know, and so I said, you know what, why not bring that to our area? Why not let people see what we do? And that's what we did. Yep. So tell everybody where you're from in Louisiana. We're North Louisiana. We're in Shreveport. Um, again, I'll say small. <laughs> um, but for this area, you know, we're close to Dallas. We're about uh-huh. two and a half hours away. So R- Dallas is always the next closest thing for us. Some people immediately associate New Orleans, but that's actually further away. That's uh-huh. in five hours from us. So uh, we're North. Some would even say we are Texas because we're so close. Right. So talk to us a little bit about being one half of the Bayou Empire. Talk to us about the 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 good, the bads, and the uglies. (laughs) It is. It's a lot of it's a lot of good, it's a lot of bad, it's a lot of ugly. Again, I'm more business, so he's the cars. So in the end, I guess that works um, because I like to be the the negotiator, I guess you could say. Right. The bad side of it is when you feel it's a stupid purchase. You know, like, wait a minute, why are you buying another G-Body? We got a G-Body you could have put that 20 grand in. Or we don't see eye to eye on even... Oh, we're going to go with Forgiatos. We're going to go with Corleone and your dealers for all of them. You know, we bump heads about a lot of that. You know, right. what he wants to do, his creative energy with a car. It's nothing for him to spend 10 grand today and another 10 tomorrow. And I'm like, that's stupid. You know, you got <laughs> cars everywhere. But in his mind, it's fine. You know, right. no big deal. I think that's crazy. <laughs> Like right now, he's looking for a box Chevy. I got right. a box Chevy. He sold two box Chevys. <laughs> Why are you looking for another one? So we bump heads on things like that. You know, that's, so, that's a lot of money. So how many do you actually own? On well, I know when you when y'all own them, you own them together. But were there any cars that you bought and said, "This is my car. I'm putting this together"? No. <laughs> Heck no! <laughs> and even when I th- I think because I see what he goes through, I don't mm-hmm. want it. Now the I will keep my new cars and put just a pair of rims on them like I've been doing, but I don't want to do a project car. No, no, no. So you not into the old school cars? I am. If I could drop it right now, the work ethic sucks. 
as far as shops, I don't have a shop that I would 100% say if I dropped it off here, I would be comfortable leaving my car, my money, and I know I'll come back and get my interior, my music, everything done. No, I don't have that. And when I pay for something, I want it to be like I dropped you. You told me it's going to be ready on the third. On the third, here I am. Or you need right. to be calling me on the second saying why it's not ready. Right. So, you know what I hate about our culture? I don't, I was talking to, I think it might have been Cuddy Queen that I was talking to about this. I mm -hmm. don't, people ask me all the time. I'm dealing with a guy, because I sell G body parts. I'm dealing with a guy, he's way um, out of the country. Right. He is deployed. So, mm -hmm. I feel like if I drop my car off to the shop, like you said, I want to be able to get everything done. This right. guy calling me, he, 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 he five or six, maybe seven hours ahead of us. So at right. times he should be sleeping, getting rest for work. He trying to call me to get parts. I just don't feel like that is fair. I feel like in our culture, we do so much with the cars. It should be a place where I could drop my car off more than just a couple. It should be in right. some places in every state. I feel like we should have a directory saying I, I should get called you and say, hey, and when I'm in when I'm in Shreveport, what 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 is the shop that I can take my what's the one stop shop? So I just don't know how we how we where we go with that. I don't either. And that's what we need. Now are there great guys that do you know, maybe great music, yeah, but I would have to zigzag my car, let you do my music, let you do my interior, let you do my paint, and that gets nerve-wracking, because one drop ball, there's a delayed project, you know, and most of the time, what are you working on? You're working to get ready for a show. You want to be ready for a big show, and mm -hmm. if you take too long with my interior, or you take too long with my paint, I miss the show. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of guys tell me I'm done with cars because they're tired of the runaround with shops. Can't say I blame them. Right. So talk to us about how many cars you guys are up to now. I know it's a million, but. Oh, my God. What's the count on donks and G-bodies? And you say he sold about Chevy. So talk to us about the count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, three donks. 71, 73, 75. There's Monte Carlo. There's the Grand National. He has a short bed he's working on. I mean, it could be so. Oh, well, you know, he has a truck. So it's a good seven or eight. It's a good seven. Now he's looking for a box. Now he's looking for a box. <laughs> Now he's looking for a box. <laughs> do you be? Do you ever be like, I'm about to kill you? <laughs> oh, oh, we we go at it because it's two strong personalities. So you know, you have him saying he a boss. I'm saying I'm a boss, and the, sometime I win, sometime he win. But ultimately, it's his money. Uh -huh. So you do what you want to do with your money. You know, because uh -huh. I'm quick to say, well, that's your money. But he uh -huh. will say we need to do a box. But he know uh -huh. I'll go. You crazy. Because right. it's not going to just be one of those. You do some paint, you do some rims, and you're done. You're going to want to do the trunk. You're going to want to do the this. <sighs> and it's going to, you know, like somebody just said, these shops tend to get lazy. And when they get lazy, there's a delayed project. Right. And we so, already got a bad year with COVID. So you don't know right. what you're going to make it for this year. Right, right. So tell us, Um. so did you guys meet over? cars or did you meet totally away from the car scene where you totally into car? totally away totally away um but he was in the car you know but it, it was totally away um i think that was like one of the common things we have but again i say this conversation would be going totally different if he was a pizza guy or something i'd be telling you we the top pizza people in the city but like, you know cars is just one of those things that we do agree on i, I as a matter of fact there was so much talk about a box i did agree with him uh -huh. Go ahead. That you, that's one you haven't touched for a while. Go ahead. Let's do it. 
Because, right. you know, the internet chatter can get heavy. So I was like, you know what? Give it to him. Give it to him. You know what I think is super dope? I tell my little nephews all the time, the right woman can make or break you, right? I so, agree. So he was already doing whatever he was doing. We're not going, I'm not, we're not down in what he was doing or how he right, handled it. Right, 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 right. But you stepped in, you was like, uh, let me put my cape on. <laughs> I'm going to do it, KP. And I'm going to put my cape on. And we're going to fly with it. But I think as women, I think we're more organized than men. I think mm-hmm. that that just, that's just one of our strong suits. So it helps. Mm-hmm. Um, and for us, especially with the shows, you know, when we're doing a show, that's awesome because he's a hell of a networker. You see, he'll talk to whomever. Um, he's going to promote it. All I got to do is get it organized. Hell, we got right. the mini show before we start. You know what right. I mean? So I think that it, it, in the end, it works out. It just balances out. So can I tell you, there are there are a few couples. There are a few couples in the car culture that I really admire. And okay. you guys are one of them. I really, at my, you know why? Don't don't why? don't do that. Don't do that. Why? Listen, you know why? Because I am such a car girl. I right. so want to meet a car guy, and we just take this thing to the next level. You know what I mean? I like it's it, like. It's so crazy to think, but I really want to be able think to. That would be easy because it's odd that. And here I am throwing a little shade, but it seems that that would be easy because it's a male dominated industry. You show up, you're a nice looking woman. It seems that you would easily be able to meet a man who would match your likeness and you guys take it. It seems like that would be easy. I can't, but you know the problem with that is? What's that? They all got wives. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's why I was gonna throw the shade. I was like, they be in my inbox and knowing I can't do nothing. I ain't what I'm gonna do with you. So vice versa. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> but but it's you. I love Patrice and Mandrell. I love Rags to Riches and his wife. I just love couples that are like on it with the car culture. You know what I mean? Like you remember, I don't know if you remember this, but Tammy bought Waka Flocka a car and she got it put together. He wanted an 87 because he was born in 87 and people was throwing all that shade about her putting the, they wouldn't have done this to the car and they wouldn't have done that to the car. That is my dream to be able to meet my, I want to build my husband a car if he want a car and him not even know nothing about it. I think that's dope. I salute you. Let me tell you something. I ain't that in love yet, then, because I ain't building you no car. <laughs> you don't you feel that way because he built cars. <laughs> no, I feel that way because I know that easily it could be an 87, but it could easily top over to a $50,000, $60,000 bill. Easy. But that's okay. You be ready. <laughs> bless you, sister. Bless you. A man would be so blessed to have you. He definitely would. But see, the thing about that is because most, a lot of women are natural givers. We are. We have to, we cannot, we have to be careful. We mess around and get a natural taker. Right. Ah, uh, yes. And I know you probably, you've been through that before you got married. So since you're a natural giver, you got to be really careful. We're magnets for takers. We are. When you're a giver. Uh, right. In your life, period. Um It'll be takers. They you just they just drawn to you, and I'm so cheap and so petty, and it's like sometimes he'll say it. He'll like, why are you doing tit for tat? Because I'll say, hold up, I bought that, or I bought that, and then you really can't be that way. Mm-hmm. You really should just be ours. And as much as I preach ours, I'm so cheap when it comes to stuff. I won't say cheap, but. The cars, the cars are expensive. They, they, they are. they're so expensive. And if you can meet a woman who's willing to say, "I want to build a car for you," that's a big deal to me. That's that's a big big deal. Building a car takes so much patience. And again, what shop would you send it to that could meet your need? And he wouldn't find out. It would be great if I could say, you know what, let me send my car to Florida, and I know if I need someone just to pop in, I can let KP just pop in on it. 
But uh-huh. I can't say that because KP gonna say, "Girl, I ain't never touched it. It's over in the corner." Uh-huh. You know, you, it, we ain't going for that. that. We ain't you know going for that. Saying? But we should be able to. We should be mm-hmm. able to. Between the networking that you do, the amount of shows you go to, the amount of shows we go to, we should have, like you said, a directory of people we can reach out to. And we do not have that. And that's the one thing we're missing. We need that for this industry. We do not no. have those reliable shops that we can count on to get things done. Say less. We're going to get it together. As the organized women, we're going to get it together. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> so talk to us about how Bayou Blowout came about and how long has it been running? <sighs> Actually, and people always ask me, how did you get hooked up? I'm going to tie this into it. People would always say, how did you get hooked up with Don't Plenty? Mm-hmm. And... Actually, the Don't Plant, the Don't Tober event was in place before we even did Buy You Blowout. So I had to be a woman of my word since we had already agreed to doing a show with him, kind of keep that going, even though we kind of down the line, we're like, we really don't need to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's how the two different shows kind of ended up being in place. I'm a woman of my word. So right now, if I say, KP, we're going to do whatever i'm not gonna break my agreement with kp i'm gonna keep that going and if i do decide to do something else that will just be separate but i'm gonna honor my commitment so it was really like i said in the beginning taking that florida culture to bring it to louisiana because some of our people just don't travel some people don't go any further than right here we wanted to give them that experience when we would go we were like man we need this at home we need to do something like this at home and that's what we did and child look like everybody want to do car shows now so i don't know but it's super big like before i even knew who you guys were Uh uh-huh probably partially because i was familiar with dunk planet but i also saw the buy you blowout thing I'm like, oh. I, I, I might have to go to that. <laughs> right. Cool. So, that was dope. You know, so talk to us about how long you've been doing boats. How long have they been running? Well, they both, believe it or not, it's only been a short time, three years. But within three years, because we do two shows a year, that's what, two, four, six, six shows. So it's mm-hmm. a lot of shows in a short period of time. This year's in limbo because of COVID. I don't really know. You know, we had a track now called, like, what you going to do? You want to do it? Pick a date. Pick a date. But I'm like, I don't want to pick any more dates. And we don't know if the state going to be open, you know, right. because they're backpedaling this way. So I want people to be able to come out, have a good time, but I also want you to be safe and not have to worry what you're going home with. Right. So, right. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Box Chevy World threw out something about doing a Box Chevy event. That may be something worth us doing but right now my heart soul and mind and body i don't want to just do a car show i'm like you if we can't incorporate the racing i don't want to do it right right if it can't be a racing show i don't want to do it right so this year has been a unique year um i think this year has really shown um a lot of people that they either really had it together like they thought or they really uh-huh. didn't have it together like they thought. And um, I've been fortunate and blessed enough to still be coming up with ideas, still working, still doing stuff in the culture that I love. Uh-huh. Um, but also, it's been rough. You know, not being able to watch any racing. And, right. um, you know, it's, it's just really, really been a rough year. I, I do want to say, though, um, I still appreciate people like, you and your husband, people look, people like, um, you know, a lot of people in the car culture that have still been entertaining, y'all still coming with stuff, y'all still, um, you know, become, being a fixture, because I feel like you guys are a fixture in Shreveport. You know what I'm saying? You guys, everybody knows who you guys are, not just in Shreveport, in Louisiana, in Texas, hell, in Florida, in Georgia. We just you know y'all. Know how to blow it up. You blow it up. You do good. No, 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 no. You un- you do understand that mm-hmm. fans feel comfortable talking to me because I'm a fan person, right? Like I know that there's no 
even there's no rise and vibes without them, right? So right. they feel comfortable with telling me stuff. So right. what I would say, because I wasn't, a lot of, uh, some of the women this month, people didn't, no one knew. Or, or I won't, I, I'm not, I'm trying not to be disrespectful when I say they weren't very mm -hmm. well known in other places outside of their city. So okay. when I would say, you know, I'm bringing y'all people that you may or may not have known. I was on a little earlier and somebody said, oh, we know who that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> we know her. You know, so it's not that you guys are just really well known and you're, like I said, one of the couples in this culture that I look up to. I thank you. And I know when I find my uh, Bayou uh, couple, I'm a... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm reach out to y'all and be you like, hey, how, you got big how, dollars. You how I'm supposed to handle this? How I'm supposed to handle this? Y'all gotta tell me how to handle this. Cause I, I <laughs> anybody willing to willing to build a car, anybody willing to build a car for that man, honey, you you gonna you gonna make somebody happy. And guess what? I ain't even got him yet. Uh, and when he when I get him, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be right. It's gonna be so, right. So one of these days we're gonna get you to give us a tour and show us some of these cars. But here's the thing, KP. If I would have been on time and ready, like he pulled up and he's like, "Why you didn't do it here? And why you didn't do that? And why you ain't got your mic on? And why you?" Because I really had prepared to like truly give a good interview. But you know, at the last minute we did our little time change. But I would, I would like us to coordinate something. Mm -hmm. Um, where we could do like a, a episode and, mm -hmm. I'm ready. and just do a, a tour and we put it out there. And I'm ready when you are. Say less. <laughs> say less. We're gonna get it done. Because so I was want to Yeah. I want to do yeah, that. it. Yeah, my fault. I put the wrong time and I should have said something because I, I, I um, DM'd you earlier and I was like, shit, that ain't like her not DM me back. But let me tell you. Right. This. We want to see all them 500 million cars that he done built without without your permission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bingo. Or without my blessing. But in the end, let me say this. In the end, usually after the blood, the sweat, and the tears, I jump on board and I'm like, that look pretty good, you know, which I'm always for it. I think that sometimes, though, I'm just that person. Why spend a you know, money on another G body if you got this G body. Right. He'll say, but it ain't this, you know. Oh no, nah, they doing a nine inch lip. I gotta do a nine inch lip and it's like, put a nine inch on there. You know, why well, do something else? Right. But I think he has the right vision. He keeps it uh innovative because mm -hmm. it's always changing. He keeps up with the trends for the car car culture. And it's bad because girl, I find myself at the light trying to see if people gonna kill me at the light. Why I care if they gonna kill me at the light? But that's being around him. You can't let them kill you at the light go. This is a regular stoplight. <laughs> or you know, if I see a, a, a nice old car, I'm like, dang that look good. Wonder will they sell it. Why do I care if they gonna sell it? I ain't finna you know, but that's just now I'm programmed that is you know what that's the kp and you you gonna come home with him a car one day <laughs> i don't want that part of kp you what they say i don't sing that part <laughs> i don't know you part. know what even, you know what he'll be happy even if you just stop that person at the light who had the car buy it and bring it home he'll do everything else he'll i'll be with screen like, i'll just be like, with screen you know what that mean right what? We're looking for him a car. I just, it's by default. Like, it is literally by default. I said, I wonder if they want to sell it. Uh, hold up. They want a race? You better not try to pass me. You got yourself a race. You know what that means. We about to look for him a car. We're going to look for one. Keep your eye on the box Chevy, KP, or anybody I watching. You. I got a you. box Chevy is the car. I got you. <laughs> I got a feeling you got one gonna come up after this video. I feel it. It will. Box They're gonna Chevy. be on to me. And you. Yeah. A box Chevy. <laughs> Let me know where it's at. Let's see if we can't bless them. So tell us what it is that you would like for every for people to know about um Bayou you blowout and you know all the things that you guys have going on. I think uh, I want us to keep growing. Um, we do want to be that one-stop shop. That is the goal. 
I do want them, if we could just leave our, you know, our footprints in the sand to say that I know what they do, how they do. That's what I want. If people can remember that or if they can say, oh, will they be there? You know, it's going to be something good. That's what I want. I want people to know if we're there, you have something to look forward to. Uh -huh. Something, you know, it feels good when you, girl, we'll pull up and everybody's eyes turning, you know, they taking the pictures. So again, I complain, I fuss, but the results when you see the smiles, when you see people, all the photographers coming wanting to get pictures, you know, <laughs> you, you say, okay, well, this did come out pretty good then, you know. So I think that's what it's about. It ends up just being a culture that at this point for me, I like seeing people enjoy it. I like to see them say, that looks good. I like that. Like, like I say, I love you and your husband. I love Mandrell and Patrice. I love Rags to Riches and his wife. I just love to... I, first of all, I'm just... I love love, first of all. Uh, that's what it sounds like. And, and, it, and, and, it, and it's like the movie Love and Basketball, but with cars. That's yeah. what y'all like to me. All, that's what all y'all are like to me. And... The other night, I was just thinking about all y'all. I was oh just like, God. I was just like, I just love them. <laughs> really? Yo, yo, Boaz is coming. We are going, we're going to do some speed dating via Instagram for KP. We get KP a, we get KP a husband that she can fix up a car with. Now that's my new goal. I don't want to look like you me. You find me. A, you work on me. The box Chevy. I'm going to work on you a hood. We're going to do something. Can you make sure him look like Shrek? Can you make sure him look like Shrek? You going to look at his inside, not his outside. His That's inside right. The Richard Vegas wife gonna... down there at the bottom. Blue Angel Vegas. She uh -huh. said, I love y'all too, but um, Blue Angel but, Vegas, Nurse uh -huh. Crosby, everybody help me. We all going to start a speed dating. We going to set it up for KP. Mm, okay. All right. Then we're going to advance it to a car show date. What? And then we'll go from there. They're going to pull their cars out? They're going to pull their cars out. What you talking about? Nah, I'm in like on that. You nah, like that idea. Nah, I'm in on that one. I'm going like to do that. Okay. <laughs> we finna set it up. We going to get you a, a panel, and we going to get KP. Um, I think everybody pulling for KP a man now. Okay, you see that? Y'all just don't let Nika cuss the people out, because you know she from Louisiana, too. She from Baton Rouge. Don't you let Nika cuss them out. Yeah, we'll cuss them out later, but we got to get you. We got to get you connected. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 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 So we don't know when the next um, shows are going to be because right now the state of the world. Um, right. But hopefully we can look forward to the shows next year. Well, I'm still hopeful for this year. I still okay. hope that we can pull something off. I always will be respectful to shows that we support, such as um, Texas Street Whoops is coming up. Where we're going to respect that date. Um, there are a few other local shows that we do. So we are going to try to gear it around those dates and be respectful to others who had to reschedule so late in the year. And if we can pull it off, we'll still shoot for this year. But all else fails, it'll be next year. What's the fun fact that your, your followers would be surprised to know about you? I think I told it already. Uh -huh. I, I am super cheap. People don't believe me when I say that. Hey, they say, you are not cheap. You always have a, a name brand this, a name brand that. It goes no further than that. Like, I am the thriftiest person ever. I will spend money on... I'm going to keep me a nice purse. I'm going to me a nice purse. I like to change my hair. But beyond that, I ain't spending no money. So, again, that vision of fixing up a car for a man, KP, I'm going to let you bring that one into fruition. <laughs> but that ain't me. <laughs> what advice would you look to, would you give a woman looking to get into this car game and this car culture? Have your money ready. 
Uh, I think that was the biggest thing for me. They look good, but it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Sometimes it's me in the garage with him late nights. God forbid a show the next day, you know. But it's a lot that goes into it. So, KP, while you want the glitz and the glam of him with this car, it may be you in the garage with him getting that car together. It may be you finding yourself... I'm a tomboy, but I'm kind of prissy too, girl. So sometimes when he be put the strap on or put the this on, it's like, hold up, what? I'm broke a sweat. So it, it it gets, well, you got to get your hands dirty sometimes, you know, but you do it if you're in it together, you know. Do you guys race any of your cars? He does race his 71 mm-hmm. uh, Impala. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's wanting to race something else. Girl, the vision changed over here all the time. He came through though last week, uh, last month or something. He was talking about getting a demon. So I don't know what's going on. But he, um, racing was the first love, you know. Mm -hmm. And he just keeps accumulating stuff. So he buying a demon and a box Chevy. I can help. I'm not. I can't co-sign a demon. Well, I'm gonna help him find the box chef. I don't know if I want to co-sign the demon, KP. I didn't know the demon cost that much. I didn't know a Dodge could cost so much. You know what somebody told me the other day, and they made me feel so bad about my life. They said that Chargers and Challengers and Camaros are the new Crown Vicks. You, yeah, you see what the police is? No. No, you won't catch me dead in a crown vet. No, you know what? Them crown vet clicks gonna get you, baby. And there's some women in them, they gonna get you. I ain't said that crown vet people because they be showing up to our shows and it's a group of them. I, I ain't. I'm the Texas, in people, the Texas people be showing me them black and white crown vets. You ever uh-huh. be seeing them? They take a lot of them. It's a lot of them. And they want to race you in them. Some of them. Crown Vic people, I love y'all. Crown Vic people, I apologize. Mm-hmm. They're just not my type of car. Mm-mm. Everybody likes something different. But the Charger, the Challenger, and the Camaro. That's the and the Mustang. Mustangs. They the crown. I don't know. I ain't going to put the Mustangs in there with y'all. Yeah. No, they ain't in there with y'all. Yeah, they new crown vets. Uh-uh. I'm about to sell mine. I got to sell mine now. Get something new. What you I don't, want to be a crown. I don't know. I don't want to be a crown vet. He said big He's price difference. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> big price difference. <laughs> so uh, that was everything that I had as far as my questions. I was practicing all day because for some reason I was nervous. So I was nervous. I told you I was nervous. Just and I did this with my melanin, just fresh, no makeup, no nothing. I gave but that's how it's supposed to be. But let me I tell you something. Me. For some reason, I've been so nervous with the ladies this month. I, I just, I want to be really respectful. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want y'all to feel like, I just was, I didn't want to say anything wrong. It's a little different with the, with the guys. I can say, guys ain't. You know, they ain't like that. But I just didn't want to say anything that made y'all feel like I was being disrespectful or being funny in any way. So you are the last interview of Ladies Month. Say the best for last. <laughs> All of you I'm ladies were the best. I had a ball interviewing each and every one of y'all. And we made it through. We made it. You did good. Now you got to let me interview you. Cause ain't nobody interviewed you. Cause you know. I yes, they have. Me. Big Low did. Okay. Big Low did. But I, we got another interview coming up. But um, us ladies are gonna work on some stuff. We I got agree. some stuff. We're gonna we're gonna get in a chat and we're gonna talk because uh we got some stuff coming. And I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to you uh probably later on tomorrow afternoon or Thursday so we can talk about what we got. Sounds like a plan. So what would you what would you like to say in closing to all of your fans, followers, supporters, even your haters? What would you like to say? We don't acknowledge <laughs> the haters. So I won't say anything to them. I will allow them to keep 
just watching from the sideline. Um, but for those that follow us and support us, I say keep watching. I hope we get better. Like I said before, that's the mission, to keep getting better, to keep bringing more to the table. I always have so many ideas, but executing them it gets difficult when you have to rely on other people. So working with other ladies, I think, is a great thing. It's something I've wanted to do for quite some time. So that's what that that would be a great project. That would be definitely something I think we need to be more visible in this. Not to take away from who's there, but just to be more visible. Right. I tell the guys all the time, though, ladies, we... We can pull, we can turn the other cheek a lot of times when it, when we know we're going to make a big bag. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Excuse me. We don't have to like you. We can stand there and smile and wave. Most definitely. And get them coins. There you go. <laughs> but it's always... And your vibe like has you. always been good. You know, from day one, you've always had just this... That friendly, I've known you forever type feel, even if it was just meeting you. So you've always given it. So it'll be easy to get something done with you. You know why I'm like that? Um, it took me a long time in life to understand you get back what you put out. Right. Now, you might not always get back the love that you put out. Right. But the love will outweigh the hate every day. So the love that I give out, the love that I give to you is the love that I give to everybody. And of course, I'm going to have some people who just don't like me just for whatever reason. They might just not like how I look. Right. But at the same time, I don't concern myself with the people who don't like me. I concern myself with people like you and the other people who I love and they love me back. Right. That's so, so we definitely going to get it popping. We're going to show you for Right, and add to it, because we got KP husband coming. We're going to keep speaking it. Girl, we're going to speak that thing in existence. Look at, look at God speaking it. So, yes, I'm ready when you are right. Like Mo Dreezy said, how does somebody not like KP? It's, I don't I don't think it's possible to not like KP. Who get mad at KP? I can, I can show you some DMs, and you'll be like, really? With KP? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's okay it's okay girl it's but okay. listen I want to tell you thank you so much for sitting down to talk to us and we gonna, we gonna, get, we gonna get that tour of all them cars we gonna get tours of all the cars let's from all the ladies up. yes let's do it I think it's worth it all the ladies set it up let me know when and just like now even if I ain't made it happen I'm gonna make it happen Thank you so much. We appreciate you. You have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, ladies,